In this video I'm going to show you how to convert your image files into a PDF file for upload as your exam answer. Um, I've organised all my image files into a single folder along with a document file which is going to act as the template for my answers. So the first thing I'm going to do is open this up And when it gets round to it, um, it, I've, it just contains um, uh, the uh, student number and module code. So I need to alter that. So I need to put in whatever the code is, say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And in this particular case, the module code will be ECB003. And then this is semester 2 exam. OK. Now I'm going to paste in the various um, image files into this document. So I'm just going to create a page break here using um, shift control and return and then go to my folder here with the various image files in then copy this to the clipboard using control C move back to my document file and then I can paste it in using control V and that's pasted in the first page of my answer booklet quite nicely. Now all I really need to do now is to do the same thing for all the other image files in my folder. Okay, so you see that's done it quite nicely. If I now hit Control Shift Return then go back to my folder here and copy the second image file to the clipboard using Control C go back to my Word document and now on the second page here I hit Control V and it will paste in this file. Now here we've hit a bit of a problem um, because of the way in which the photographs are stored it's actually been stored as a landscape picture rather than a portrait picture it's, it needs to be rotated so in order to do that I move the cursor onto the picture and then right click and then go to size and position here. Now I need to rotate it by 90 degrees so that it will be um, expressed as a, a proper portrait picture. But the problem with that is that when I rotate it by 90 degrees it's going to shrink the image size. We'll see here. If we rotate it now. Okay, the image is rather small here. So what I want to do is to make sure that it's um, a reasonable size. So again I'm going to right click, go to size and position and whichever is the larger of these two measures, either height or width, I'm going to change to 22. That should give me a image file which just about fills the page as a whole. So go to here and hit 22 and then you can see it's expanded, it's a much um, bigger picture now. So that's how we go about pasting the pictures into our document file and if I just scroll upwards a little here you'll see that it now consists of the first page has just got the student number and the module code the second page has got the image file um, the first image file of the first page which um, worked out fine and the second page here has got the second page which I had to do a little bit of work on by rotating it and adjusting the image size and what I need to do now is to go on to do this for all the other pages that are in my um, answer. OK, so now we've copied all our image files into a single document and I've saved it here with the name um, B123456 followed by the module code followed by semester 2 exam. So the final stage here is I want to now save this as a PDF file which is the form in which I need to upload it as my exam answer. So let's just open up this document first of all and just do a quick check. Again it seems to take quite some time to upload Word documents at the moment. Anyway, so the document now has the student number, the module code as the first page and then if we scroll down here what we'll find or should find is that all the pages have the correct orientation 
and they've all been resized so that they fill the relevant page. Now I want to save that as a PDF file. So to do that, I go to File, and then Save As. I'll save it with the same title, but now I'm going to change the format here to PDF. So it'll give it a different extension. Click on Save, and it should now save the document. When it opens up, it may look a little bit different on your computer, depending on what um, particular PDF viewer you're using. Um, but on mine, this is how it, uh, PDF files appear. And if we scroll down, we see that it's just got the pages as they look before, but now it's in a format that you can easily upload it, and um, it, it will reproduce quite nicely if we were to print it out. Okay. So that's a brief guide as to how to um, paste your image files into a Word document and then how to save that document as a PDF file for upload as your exam answer.